Okay, hi, welcome and welcome back to some more of Mafia Definitive Edition, which is apparently a remake from the 2002 game, now that I know, which apparently isn't the Definitive Edition, but besides the point, welcome back, we're gonna be playing some more today. We are still in the past calm. Uh, he's kind of explaining his life and how he got into the situation that he now currently is in. He's talking to a detective in the present. I we back in the 1930s. I like that loading screen. That was a cool one. Ordinary routine. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking. Maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. <laughs> but I what did I know? He's coming to speak to us. Come on, this yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. I think we can like go and walk around now. Salieri. I guess Salieri. Is that right? Hey. Oh, no one's here. Any notes? No? A little workbench. That looks like something I can read. Anyway, let's go meet with him i guess fine i guess we can if we have to hi guys oh <gasps> oh we couldn't go upstairs before Any goodies? No. Oh, we can go in here. Cuba. Whose room is this? Oh, is, is someone going to the toilet? It's like an artist room though. Oh. What did I even do there? Anyway. We're looking all schnazzy. What's the red dot? There he is. Holy. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel I like is a little him short the most. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe they'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably Vinny? just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. I have a feeling though, I think his name's Sam. I think Sam, I don't know, I think he might betray us. Unless we betray them. Hey, hey. just the guy. I saw this. And I thought of you. Thank you. I love to be. Carry a rat. Shot him at the fair a couple of times. First person right. you think of when they you. Uh, Pointed at the gun. target over there. Target. Oops. Good boss, bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing. Needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts. Get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Vinny. Stop. Well, to everyone else, is just is that just a nickname I get or does everyone get it? Because if everyone gets it, I don't feel it's special. You're making it seem like I'm the only one. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. 
Ah, what's losing some motors to him? He's got at least five garages this side of town. He's not wrong, Polly. He's you guys know it like I know. Sam. Always the same. Rello does this, so Salieri does that. Some cars here, some booze there. Things calm down for a few weeks, then it all happens again. World keeps turning. Well, it's been a month. A month's made of weeks. Quit whining. Okay. Ooh, what's this? One year since car crash. The worst panic in Wall Street peacetime history was one year ago today. There's still no escape from the wider economic depression that has followed it. Unemployment reached 8% this month, but giving the prevailing trend of shuttering businesses, banks and foreclosed farmsteads, some economists warn that this could double, perhaps even triple in the coming years. Special picture features showing screens from every state. I think that was it. Pages two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. Damn. Oh, I feel like it's even worse now. Oh. I was gonna try and look up you, first. You know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And an afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And. Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. I hope Tommy, uh, sorry. Yeah, Come wait, what? Tommy. Show me what you can do. I hope Tommy doesn't stop being mean to Ralphie. Oh, please, Tommy. Come on. One second. Oh, read note. Is there a note? Me and mom. Oh. Don't make me cry. The boss told me to show you this. But pick the lock. Don't make me no stop. I'm busy. How do I get in there? Oh, that's Vince. Oh. Okay. Right. Let's just pick the lock. Oh, hold B. At least I don't have to do okay. a mini game. You got it. Have a good day, fellas. Oh, Saiyan's riding shotgun. Let's go. First, oh. we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Sorry, I didn't see that before. Wait, how do I turn the radio off? Oh, I've forgotten. Controls, people radio four. Yeah. Wait, how do I, I how do, oh, 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 sorry. I don't know what that was. I like those. I think they're really cool. The little arrow directions that pop up to show you where you need to go. I that is something that's really, really cool to me. This car can speed too, so I need to remember to try and not go too fast. At least when cops are around. Okay, this is it. Sorry. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. It's 
still can't get over how pretty this game looks. Oh, okay. I'll 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 just open it. Oh, Sam. Sam I'm so sorry. Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Hi. Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass. Sorry, Mr. Bur Burturelli. This letter is a notification that you are in default of your obligation to make payments on your agreed loan. This amount has been overdue since July 15th of 1930. You have ignored requests to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received within two weeks, I will have no choice but to can instruct the bank to begin the full closure of process on your home and business. Please act accordingly. Christopher Mar Mar Marchino. Manager Grand Imperial Bank. That's just like her grandma. <laughs> That's good to hear, Al. Real good. This little bakery. Are you got any trouble around here? Any punks oh, causing I'm problems? Get longer. No, no, nothing like that. Good. <clears throat> so you got the money. I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julie What's Sam doing? Without payment. Okay. You gonna get the door or what, Tom? Yeah, I'm going. I'm guessing that's the money. Let's Where's the her. money? Perron, fetcha! Voci succhiate il sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! But, oh, it's there. Okay, so then, um, what's this? Oh, it's a cigarette card. Cool. Another one bites the dust. Snatch that up. George! He said. That's mine. Fair enough. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. Ooh. And give our best to your mom. Huh? Oh, Pooley was there. That's Sam. That looks like a good cake. It uh, was a real pleasure meeting you. Likewise. Are we going to get attacked as we drive home? Is that what's going to happen? Okay. Next up, we got old Eugene's okay. place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Almost the guy used crazy. to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. The guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Of what? We keep some of these guys Is on our her? books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Reminding open put in place. Hey, Ralphie, I said. Tom sure can drive. No working after hours, cleaning up after me and Sam. <laughs> No chance of that, huh? <laughs> I kind of zoned out for a second and I didn't see the incoming car. <laughs> Oopsie. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Oh, okay. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She's gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. 
Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook. Guy ended up in a wheelchair. Oh. Silver. Is that it? Polly? There he is. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. It was pretty quick. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. Each time you crash, you make little Ralphie cry. I'll make myself cry And too. nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. That yeah. sounds so much Seems like fun. It's not, too hard. not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all. I'm I not saying that, that, Sam. I. You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're Bad. sorry, Tom. Try me. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Okay. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. You had him what? Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. Why? How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it, too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. This? Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? No. You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Oh, thank happy you. Happy to oblige. This reminds me so much of Red Dead, though. I never turned on MSI. Sorry, I need to turn on MSI, otherwise my PC just runs like a jet engine. So. I'm sorry. Oh, here okay. we are. Okay, there it is. Finally. That wasn't anywhere. Huh, my bad. Does that work? Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Tell me that's not straight up Red Dead, but... Oh, okay. Oh, he's a little gangster now. Why is the smoke black? Tom! <laughs> What? I took what? Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. 
Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Where's Sam? Sam, they're trying to beat information out. Oh. I gotta get you to a doctor. Ah, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Sam. I'm coming, Sam. I don't wait. He locked the door, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, where else can we go? There's health around the back. Hmm. Who wrecked the motor? Give me a name. <laughs> oh, God. Get up. Plenty of looks like him coming, though. Get up. Over here! Get Wait. Cover. What? Okay, he's dead. Okay, he said. I didn't do that right. I really messed up. Oh, God. Okay, I... Uh. Did he cross his legs as he died? He's like... Gotta get a little cheeky. I don't like the fact that it says restart from last chapter. I feel like that's gonna be a point where I'm gonna accidentally click that. Take the health. Store cupboard, okay. Wait, Robert Gil 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 Gilotti? Bring prosperity. Elect Robert Gil Gil Gilotti for City Council 1930, a trusted figure in Lost Haven, owner of boatyards and industry, employer to thousands, friend of the city, dutiful father and husband. No yet. Why am I missing all these? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Cover me. Where are you? Oh, Guys, I'm not doing well at this. Why is the reticle so big? That's what I don't like. The reticle's so big. Come on, Those are quite clearly shots on him. Why is he aiming so oh. Reloading. Get it. Ah, no. Hey, Sam. That's outdoors. Sam. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Uh, come on. You'll be all right. We got you, Tommy. You're tough as nails. God damn. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! Ugh. Wait, that, I don't want that car locked on. Or do I? I 
Actually, I don't think that was an Elo phone. I think that was just me. when I saw the cost, what it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. What did he find? Intermezzo. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. He is Irish. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And the next, you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money. And lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared him to look in the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Back to the past. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. No! God damn it! Moron! The gym with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, the repairs are gonna be expensive. Is it all planned? Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grill's a little bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin, I got... Tail, pal. You got an informant right there that says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. That checks out. You, uh, huh. have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. 
We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Fair play in 1932. Is this two years later? Tommy. Thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm -hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to cow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stay. Tell me coming everyone in with the suggestions. Foul, the race is what about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah. Damn. You drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? What's Feels this? Like Race day approaches. The grandest day in the sporting calendar is almost upon us. Record crowds are expected to be descended upon the Lost Haven Autodrome this weekend as the city basks in glorious sunshine. Famous German driver Martin Lichtenberg is taking some time away from the international series to challenge Lost he Heaven's hero Mikey Dunn and racing fans are on Back in the to and moving into the stands. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ, that was some night. He you doesn't maybe? even remember. Okay, <laughs> wait, that's the way I go. Who does the five, six, seven, eight, six, five? Hey. Ignore what Sam was saying. Those Help you, Tom? Were nah, just looking around. I saw you talking to the Don. So you know what to do. He didn't say, go look around. That's crazy. Tom, you spoke to the Don. So now do as he asks. I'm going. <sighs> You're lucky you got me on a good day, Tommy Angelo. God, what's your issue? This is the art room. How much has it changed? Not really. Well, I say it's not an art room, is it? It's, a, it's like a wine cell. Uh, it's a place where wine is. Let's just say that. What's through here? Any oh. Oh. Family. They got Ralphie in too. That's so cute. What does that say? Got some more cigarette cards. Nice. Can't go in there. Hmm. Why is he walking down the stairs like that? <laughs> Uh, 
Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. <laughs> sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lolo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, great. Ralphie well, looks hey, really hey, young, you need though. need somewhere to keep your mama motor safe where no one can take him. Feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Oh, nice. Open the garage. Oh, I thought we were using that. Okay, wait. Let me go look upstairs. Is that a baby? Frank says no pieces at the racetrack, so no Roscoe for you today, Tom. What if I already got a gun? Oh, you already got a gun. Jesus. Just don't go shooting out the European styles. That's not the answer to everything. No, not these days. This baby is crying. Anyway. I guess we'll drive this one. Your vehicles are added to the garage by driving them. with the guard at the racetrack. Bet. <laughs> I'm actually so interested. Like, I... I know with the Lost and Damned, I kind of had this thing where I didn't like the fact that I already knew what was going to happen or what was happening. But when it's told in a way where it's like past to present and it goes back and forth, I think that's so cool. And I think it's so interesting and it keeps it fresh. And I guess it keeps you wanting more. When it's just a linear story and you already know what's going to happen, like you've already like, it started the end. That's, I don't think is that interesting compared to when you go back and forth and you're trying to figure out or you're watching as it all unfolds even though you know the, the ending, if that makes sense. It's just you a Bobby. really yep. neat We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Are you gonna say them all? No. Ooh, that was neat. That was okay. so neat. This is it. Okay, I can't get my gun out. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. Oh, well, that's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy shifts. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Oh, shut up, no. Game!
damaged. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Bad. Hello, you. She's a bit damaged. Don't mind that. Um, you know. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri. I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. He's like, give me the damn keys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay, drive careful. Damn. overheat the engine but we have to drive quick if the cops get on us and we also have a time limit that's amazing That was going to a race car driving at speed through the city. Anyone else see this? I'm not even driving at speed though. I don't remember the way to go. I think I went the wrong way. Sounds, this looks familiar. Christ. 
Good to go. I don't think I made it in the time Tried limit. Like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. That had me nervous. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah, sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Yeah, Sir, what's up? You've got a bit of a situation. Oh, no. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. So broke who's arm, driving the car? Send him to the hospital. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. I'm really not. Otherwise, you saw my driving last I'll be night. to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. But we sabotaged. Get to the track right away. We sabotaged the car, though. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. This is bad. They're lined up on oh, the Oh, wait, grid. are we not doing start. the same car that we did yesterday? Oh wait, sorry, we sabotaged someone else's car. Okay. I Look, I normally drive with a Nintendo Switch controller, okay? Still three laps. But I'm too far behind. Don't say that. Jesus. Him. I wish I'd connected a controller. You're kidding me! Oh my god. Yeah, 
You're kidding me! Look, sometimes it's about crashing by in order to win, okay? Ooh. You're no good! No, 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 go, 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 go! The driver ahead is good, but he's also a bot. Uh, I don't know about that one. Him? Oh, that's a bit boring. I don't feel like I'm actually truly winning if you're dying. Do you have to win? The car's damage. What? Some rough racing out there. Hopefully nothing serious. Oh, this is serious, all right. You're kidding me! Who's going to catch the leading driver, Tommy Angelo? Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. No! Go, no turn good. over! Oh, I'm sick! Nah, this is a scam. Oh, it was doing so well. I've lost. Oh, if only I'd slowed down enough in time. You have to win. Oh gosh. I didn't realize you have to win. Tony, Mikey done. This guy is a fine replacement. That's crazy, anyway. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Mikey was the dude that was meant to be racing for us. We sabotaged a different guy's car. Got it. Anderson and Garcia are in second and third. No, don't do this again. Don't do this again. See ya! Game! I need to stop going over the thing. That's what's... <laughs> okay, we can just restart the race. Ooh. I should feel so sick. Who is going to catch the leading driver, Tommy Angelo? I think I had it. I think I've got it. Tommy Angelo is in first, but will he stay there? My heart's been so fast. Tommy, there's our winner. 
126. Hey, Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. Bet. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morello's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Oh, wait, what are you with? Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy. There. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe. Find Polly. Polly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Mm. Please leave when requested. That was so stressful. My hero. You're a natural wheelman, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the boots. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. Hello. Yo, mama made that look easy to Tommy. No. When they starts started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did it didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Paulie? No, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. She sure show will, Tom. Thanks. Congratulations, Campion. Wow, thank you. That win just put my daughter through another year of school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end sourly. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. Great race, champ. Why is not Sam with him? I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all racegoers that the sale oh, because... and consumption of alcohol okay. is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. Great race, Jack. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard it. Quite a few times, actually. No. Is this your first time at the track? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. They'll stop to try to clear us out before dark. How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? Well, came by. Five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. Okay, down here. I think that's him. Thank you. I'd ask again that people please leave when requested and refrain from imbibing illicit substances. Let's not make it like last year, folks. Wait, who are you? Oh, thank Christ you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think oh, there Polly's he is. big day at the track's over. Polly. Are you feeling a bit poorly? Cow says moo and the chicken says quack. 
What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security squeak, guy squeak. back there says you gotta go home. That is an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. Come on, you. Good. Let's go, Jim. <laughs> Oh, don't fall. You got it. You got it. Oh. oh, you can walk to mine now. You're great. Beautiful. You did real good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said, this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. <laughs> here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a... Some kind of race car driver. We all got our... You doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. They're like secrets that right, huh? exposed. You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the Don and your mind's racing. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the We're Don asks when he asks. Together. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down, blank it out like Sam does. Go home to <laughs> wherever the hell he goes home to. Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. No, continue. Um, I wanna go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. No. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. Absolutely I don't know. Not. Taking you home seems more classy. Good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna. Y yeah, I, I don't feel so good. Don't that was fair play complete. I'm glad I was able to do the race. It really was like third time lucky though. Sarah. Oh, 1932. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna leave that for next time. Actually, wait, I don't think we can. That's the cold, Tom. It's you want anything else? It. Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, I ask maybe a small favor. Sure, huh? Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Sarah, the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> She's, uh, she's a tough. There's this uh, pack of boys near her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she gonna speak at the mind. But maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you work in her home, this is a reminder these punks she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, the time is close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is. Uh, Tom's gonna take you. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Hey, I 
just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. Okay, well, no. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to save and I'm going to leave that there for today. Different day, different outfit, as in like the next day. Basically, what ended up happening was I literally, as just as I was about to do the outro, my PC decided to blue screen. So I had to spend the entirety of yesterday fixing the corrupt file, which luckily, thank you, I was able to get it back with the help of group. Thank you, seriously. But yeah, didn't get an outro in because the PC blue screened. Hopefully it's fixed now, but oh, it was a pain. But yeah, I am going to leave that there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hopefully will see you in the next part of Mafia. Okay, bye.